Hey guys, the Cucumber Sunrise is the number one best-selling drink for Carnival Cruise Line's Alchemy Bar. And today, we're going to find out how to make it exactly. This is the actual recipe straight from Carnival. It's not a copycat recipe or anything, and it's super easy to fix. This recipe comes from the Carnival website, and they do have other recipes as well. Okay, now, in order to keep the video short, I'm not going to physically make this on camera, but I will go over it really quick because I do have a couple of pointers for you. All right, here we go. Two ounces of Belvedere vodka, one ounce fresh lime juice, one ounce watermelon syrup, two cucumber wheels, and three-fourths ounce of orange juice. Drop the cucumber wheels into an empty pint glass or cocktail shaker. Muddle those wheels. Basically, just mash them up, cut them up. Add the rest of the ingredients, add ice, then cover it to prepare for shaking. Shake it for five seconds, no more, no less, unless you really feel like it. That is carnival just trying to be funny. Five seconds, ten seconds, it's going to be fine. Okay, a couple of pointers here. How big should the cucumber wheels be? Well... You don't have to go crazy, but I wouldn't skimp here either. I mean, this ingredient is kind of the heart of your drink. I usually aim for almost a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, adding ice. Do you add it before you shake and strain or after? For me, I do both. I add the ice before I shake and strain because, well, the recipe says to, but I think it helps to mix better. It definitely helps to chill it, and it probably helps your drink go a little further, too. After shaking, I top it off with more ice. Now, as for straining, I'm really not that picky about it, like what it says here. So for me, sometimes I'll even use the lid to strain it, or not even strain it at all. I know, though, that some people don't like pulp, so that's really going to be up to you. Either way... Then you're ready to add your ice and then enjoy your drink. Also, another tip. If you're having guests or you just don't want to make these one at a time, you can multiply the recipe by, say, four and make a small pitcher or by eight to make a larger pitcher. I wouldn't, however, make it more than I would use that day because I just don't think it would store very well at all. The next day might be a totally different story. Okay, guys, if you decide to try it, please drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks to all of our subscribers. And if you haven't already subscribed, please take a second and do so. Again, my name is Michael. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.